Mouth clicks, huh? The snap, crackle, pop, slurp, slosh of the spit in your mouth moving around while you're talking into a microphone. Uh, they're the bane of our existence, eh? Well, how do you get rid of them? You're a human being. You've got spit in your mouth. You're going to have spit in your mouth until you die, probably a few days after that. Uh, so, accept your fate. Mouth clicks are a reality of life. However, there are some things that you can do to tone them down and reduce them to make your life easier, your recordings cleaner, and just your clients happier probably. Tip number one, sugar-free gum. Popping in a chiclet or a stick of sugar-free gum is a great way to just give yourself a little bit of that minty freshness, and some people find it really helps to tone down the clickiness of their voices uh, and their mouths for a short term. It's more of a band-aid thing than a uh, full long-term solution, but give it a shot. Maybe it'll help out. Now, why sugar-free gum? Tip number two, avoid sugary stuff. I'm talking pop, candy, dairy products, juice, anything with a high sugar content is going to coat your mouth in all that sugar and uh, make you exceptionally clicky for the time being. Uh, so avoiding that before your sessions and especially during your sessions is uh, really helpful in reducing the number of mouth clicks that you'll experience. Um, <clears throat> Now everyone's mouth chemistry is different, so something that someone may find is really problematic for them, makes them really clicky, for you, may not be an issue. For somebody else, it may be actually helpful in reducing their clicks. So keep track of uh, what you're eating when, if that's helpful for you, and see what changes that makes, and to take note of it, uh, because who knows, you might unlock the next secret of the universe. Tip number three, green apples, a voiceover staple. Having a bag of green apple slices right at your side, ah, uh, nothing better. You feel like a true hero and it not only keeps your blood sugar levels at appropriate <laughs> levels, but the acidity of a green apple slices through mouth clicks like a fruit ninja and makes your recordings cleaner. So give those a sh tip number four, mic technique. Make sure that you're following the hang loose rule, particularly with large diaphragm condenser microphones, give or take a pinky or so. Tip number next tip, stay hydrated, my friends. You gotta drink water. You gotta, and it's not a quick fix either. You can't just chug a glass of water and expect to be clean as a whistle. You gotta work on it about 24 to 48 hours before you expect to be in the booth because your body takes a while to soak up all of that hydration. And while you're recording, as you talk, you're losing moisture. You're probably sweating a little bit inside the booth. It gets steamy, right? Um, so you wanna keep drinking water while you're in the booth as well. You also, in the interest of staying hydrated and declickifying your life, avoid caffeine as much as you can and are willing. Uh, coffee and tea, a lot of people find, really amplifies the amount of clicks that they experience in their recordings. So sometimes folks won't drink any caffeine before their sessions. I'm not that noble, I don't do that, but some people find it helpful. Additionally, the booze. If you drink in the evening before you're gonna go in to record, just go easy on it uh, or abstain entirely if you can. Alcohol dehydrates you, famously so, and the next day your voice will be affected by it, for better or worse. So mm, take note of it. I have also heard that uh, some people find that beer is a great quick fix declickifier. Who knew? Uh, some miscellaneous tips. Lemon water, give it a shot. Swirling around coconut oil, who to thunk it? Uh, brushing your teeth, eh, depends on the day if that declickifies me or not, but give them a shot. The last tip that I'll share with you now, software. You know, there are plugins that will eliminate clicks from your voice with wonderful transparency. The one I recommend and have for everybody who asks me about this, Isotopes RX Audio Repair Suite. 
Just make sure that you get the standard edition or above because that's, I think, at least when I bought it, was the level that you needed to purchase to get access to the mouth declicker. This thing is capital M magic. Plug it in and it is it just takes out all of the clicks. And listen, there are days when I just can't help it. My mouth is clicky as hell and it drives me crazy. And before I had this thing, I would just have to like figure it out or manually go through and declick everything. With this, plug it in, you're good to go and everything's clean right as rain. I use it all the time. Give it a shot, not sponsored, just love it. So that's it. Those are the tips that I have for you for declickifying your mouth and your life. Uh, did I miss any that you use? Do you have any that you've tried that have worked for you? Let me know because I'm always, always down to try something new. So I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, be well. Toodles.